Today I'm in Stuttgart, Germany, attending InterGeo 2024. I'm excited to be here to collaborate and meet so many great people from around the world. Let's go ahead and head inside of the exhibit hall. I'm also here with my good friends Barish and Abdul Gawad. How are you? Nice to see you guys. We have been reunited here in Germany. <laughs> Check out these guys. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. The history of surveying, I love it. You got your dumpy levels, old school theatolites. Looks like the barometer right there. More advanced looking theatolites. Looks like this introduction of the automatic level. Here we are in the 1970s and 80s. And this is modern day laser scanning and drones. So everyone, uh, I'm so glad to introduce the new solution, the latest generation of the USV. So it's so called the Apache 6. Yeah, so you can see the body is just designed for the inland water. And uh, we are, what's special? The special is formally up, uh, we can carry on the ladder, so we can scan everything in the bank. And also the sensor, like a multi beam, a single beam, and also ADCB. We can match everything under the water. So it's like above the water and under the water solutions. And with the millimeter water for the opposite affordance system, with a camera, we can do the survey, biometric survey, and then we can see everything. And also the spatial material for the body and the propeller. It can work not just in land and water and also in the ocean. So this is what we decided specially for the method batch survey. Thank you. That's an old boy. Is it still working? Really? I love it. Here is our product uh, called the uh, uh, Lixo K1. The Lixo K1 got uh, lighter about uh, 40 meters to uh, uh, 80 meters, and uh, here's the RTK for that. And uh, we got a bigger uh, new product here. This is uh, our new bigger product. It got the same camera, but this lighter got 120 meters scanning area. And uh, they got the same RTK, and uh, uh, what's more, you can get the real-time scanning results on the phone, you can see on the screen. And after the post-processing, you can get the LCC model, just like the 3D Gaussian splatting. It is the absolutely new model, new algorithm. All right, so I'm going to head over to the Imlid booth and chat with Igor, the CEO, and see what these guys are up to. Igor! Hey, how are Rami. you, sir? Hey, good, good to, to see, see you. you. Good to see you. I'm just uh, scanning our booth here with the Imlid and pix scanning kit over here. This is a new thing we are uh, we have recently launched and now showing it at Intergeo so everyone can come and, uh, and experience how easy it is to scan things. We are seeing... Uh, rapid adoption for uh, things like trench scanning, SBL documentation, uh, accident reconstruction and archaeology. This system is really cool because it uses the LiDAR uh, of the iPhone together with the centimeter accuracy of the Rich RX. And GSD on this thing is insane. I don't know if you ever calculated this, Rami, but uh, from the drone you typically get a GSD of what, like maybe two, four centimeter? But if you're shooting like this with an iPhone, your GSD is about two millimeter. So you can get really into amazing level of detail with photogrammetry processing by Pix4D and RTK accuracy of uh, the ReachRx. 
Uh, this kit is uh, very affordable, very easy to use, so everyone on the job site can start scanning and documenting what's going on. Let's go see the other stuff we have. You can see we are showcasing our partners, so this is the partnership with Pix4D. But the other that is really exciting is that this same ReachRx you could use for scanning is now also compatible with the S3 ecosystem. So you can go from scanning with Pix4D to data collection on a pole with ArcGIS field maps. This one is really exciting for everyone who is managing a large team that is doing uh, waterworks, electricity, utility scanning, all of that. You can do with this tiny receiver under $2,000 very lightweight, you can keep it in the car with a collapsible survey pole and gives you centimeter accuracy with N-Trip connection. So you see this is the versatility of our gear. You can use it on a pole, you can use it for scanning. It's uh, just packed with value. Of course, you all know our Rich RS3. It's not just a tilt compensated rover, but it's also really popular as a base station for drones. And I'm sure that the DJI use case is widely known, but we are also really glad to show here another partner that we really like with this amazing orange drone that you have seen on Ramis channel. This is the Wingtra. Amelie Rich RS3 is really the, the best base station you can imagine for a drone. It's weatherproof, it has great battery life, it's really accurate and robust and very easy to use. So, uh, I'm really proud to say that we are now have very good integration with the Wing Track system. So if you're looking at getting one of these drones, think about the RS3 one more time. Maybe this is something that, that, that is just for you. I just quickly want to show you here, so what is the Amlet Pix for the kit? You get the Rich RX, you get this beautiful handle that is really nicely balanced and you can uh, scan in even if you're wearing gloves in, or in cold weather. But you are also getting this Pix for the tags. You get a set of five in a nice carry case and these tags get auto detected by pix for the catch and you can establish control networks with them you can do inside outside workflows using this tag so if you're outside you can just use the rtk but obviously if you need to go into an area without rtk then tags are going to be very useful for you but also uh this is very much like drone mapping you can use your rtk drone or like rtk iphone scanner but you might also want to incorporate some ground control points for quality assurance and better accuracies one of the greatest part of amlet ecosystem is the amlet flow app it works on Android phones, on iOS devices, including iPads, but it also works on the cloud. And everything in Amlet Flow is instantly synchronized. This year, we've put a lot of efforts into shipping new features in Flow. You can now do DTM staking. You can now work with polygons. We have extended pretty much every feature inside the app. But here, we are showcasing something really exciting that is coming soon for all uh, Amlet Flow users and we call it Amlet Flow Team Plan. What this allows you to do, it allows you to collaborate with your team and work within one project just like you would work within a Google document. Everything is synchronized in milliseconds, you don't need to press any buttons. And here I have a project, just right here at, at the expo, we have a digital train model that we want to do a cut fill on, we have some contours here. I can go on my phone and stake out this surface and as I collect data with my rover, I can see real-time cut fill here but as I collect in the field, you can see me in real time in the office on Flow360. And this is scalable to your whole team. So you can all be working on one DTM, you can be collecting. Uh, one is built from, uh, from different areas and then everything is just joined together by the Flow360 platform. This is coming in a few months to all Amlet Flow users, so we're super excited to launch these collaboration features here. All right, so we're going to go live on YouTube right now. We're going to do a Q&A session with Igor. So I'm excited for this. Let's see how it goes. Oh, we have 15 viewers, actually. Oh, really? Yes. Hey, Hello, hey, everybody. <laughs> I am here with the CEO of Imlid, Igor. How are you, sir? Hey, Rami. I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Thanks a lot, Rami. Of course. Of course. All right. I guess we'll end it here. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. And that'll do it for day number one. Be sure to check back tomorrow for day two here at Intergeo 2024.